Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Expeditions Viking. At the end of the previous part, we arrived to Raibe and I said I would explore the city off camera a bit. I did just that. When you look at the map, let's say two thirds of the city are already explored, but um, I couldn't avoid running into one dialogue that happened here. This is a harbor. We'll get there soon. And uh, it was one of the guys that we for the first time met in the feast in the very first episode of the Let's Play. If you remember, in the bottom corner, like here on the screen, there are two people sitting, man and woman, and they really were not talking nicely about us. And if I remember correctly, that's saying that we won't stay the Tain of the village for too long. And they were not... Um, Tains or anything, we couldn't really talk to them, it was just a conversation that we overheard. And um, I met the man uh, here in the harbor, and he's supposed to be. Um, how is the guy called? Skula? That uh, Tain that wants to take over our village, I think that's the name. Uh, it's his uh, berserker or like top warrior. And he told me something about his expedition to Orkneyar and something like that he took all the men with him, that there is no one else left to hire in the Raibe. But that was the conversation, nothing else. But um, if I move further down here, I would run into some more dialogues and even into some fights. So I decided to stop here. I already ran into one fight and had to reload. Uh, so I want to record all of the dialogues and fights and everything important uh, on camera, of course. Um, here, all of this was just looting barrels and crates. I didn't talk to anyone and uh, we'll do the talking today. So we start here. This is a temple. And in the temple, uh, we are supposed to talk to the Gija, uh, the priestess, about um, Nephiel's sister, if she could give us some medicine for her. And th there'll be a lot of talking today. Uh, so, get ready for a lot of reading. Maybe I won't even read everything. And I'll leave it up to you to decide what you want to read. Uh, what do we have here? Can we take something? Willow bow. Well, no one wants it, so let's take it. Some items inside houses can be looted uh, when the hand is uh, gray, and it's always worth trying. But uh, more often, you'll see a red hand, which means you have to steal, and that's usually not worth it. What is this? Applied with some kind of sweet small powder. Uh, okay, nothing important. Come on, move. Can we talk to someone here? Except, of course, the priestess. No. Okay, let's talk to her then. The Kija is young, not much older than you. Her blonde hair is elaborately braided, and her brightly colored dress embroidered with complex religious patterns. She greets you with a polite but distant smile in a strangely breathy voice. Welcome in. My name is Swana. I am a Gija here at the temple. Is this your first time visiting? Um, I think it is. Yes, I never had occasion to enter this house before. Well, we are honored to host you. Have you come to petition the gods? Uh, we just want the medicine. I need medicine for a sick friend. She nods politely looking through you as if her mind is somewhere else. We are always happy to help. Please describe the illness. She has a deep awful cough and a kever, kever, fever. Uh, she's been bedridden for many weeks. Can you help her? The Gija maintains her back on stare. Yes, I hope, but I need more bark from the troll tree. Where does this tree stand? In the marsh to the southeast, look for the patches of yellow-green mold on its trunk. If you bring me the bark, I'll use it to make cure for you. 
Cool. Um, can you make the offering? I don't know if it does something, but I want to at least see how expensive it is. She opens her arms in the gesture that uh, encompasses the two shrines, the sides of the room. We have shrines to Odin, Thor, and Freya here, but I am happy to accept offerings for any Asir or one year you wish to appease. Hmm. We don't have 50 rations, I think. Um, what does it mean? Swiftness, strength, protect me in battle, probably some kind of resistance, discipline, fortune, and vigilance. Uh, we actually have, no, it's not, here, rations. We have 50 rations, but if I give her 50, then we'd starve to death uh, during the first camp. That's a bad idea. Okay, no offerings for you. And if you are interested, I will go through this story about gods, but I'm not gonna read it. It's quite long, so if you want to read it, please always pause the video. I'll try to go through this uh, a bit faster. And here we go. Okay, here we go. So, if you remember, I think it was the first part, maybe second part of the Let's Play, I said that there's some uh, conversation options that um, can lead into very, very long conversations, and this is one of them. So, I read it uh, during my test run, I really don't want to read it again. Uh, if you read it, I hope you enjoyed it, and, um, well, I definitely don't want to hear another. And, well, I'll tell her the truth. I had uh, heard it before. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure if there is something important for the game in these stories, but if it is, well, too bad. <laughs> it's just too long. Come on. Come on. That's a problem with Ryber because um, there is a lot of people and it's um, quite the large area so the loading uh, may take a moment. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Where do we want to go now? Let's go, I think, actually, let's go to the market. There's quite a lot of people. 
And kind of lost. Okay, now I know where I am. You'll talk to all the people here, or do I know where I am? Damn, this place can be confusing. Uh, yeah, I think we are fine. <clears throat> Let's start from the north, from the child. Young boy stands before his tall packed with crates and baskets full of bent and broken metal, pelts rolled up and uh, haphazardly stacked, the coils of uh, hemp rope and horsehair string and other pieces of undefinable junk. He appears when you uh, come near and cast a glance at his father in the back of the tent, who motions encouragingly in your direction. Highly esteemed warrior, welcome into our humble tent. My name is Gnipli. Uh, how may I serve you today? Aren't you a little young to be in charge here? It's not a problem. Death right back there. I'll get him in death trouble. Uh, the boy changes topic so fast he almost gets whiplash. What's your name? I'm Akredo. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too, Akredon. Uh, you saw hides and salvage? That's right. Uh, what you see before you is Rebe's most <laughs> impressive selection of materials for smithing, tailoring, and even um, the boy's father checks quite from the back. Carpentry. Or even carpentry. Do you like to build things? Not myself, but I uh, count skilled craftsmen among my friends. Charles' father sneaks up behind him. I'm sure the thing of Skier and has much to worry about, so a responsibility like that doesn't leave much time for crafts. Uh, the boy's eyes grow wide. You're a Thane? That's right. If you are looking for high quality supplies, you'll find none better than what we offer. Uh, so, this is how trading works in this game, most of the time. Uh, each vendor has one of the nine resources, or some of the nine resources, and uh, you can just trade for resources they want. Uh, and down here we can see the price and supply demand. And the, the price, of course, is affected by that. It's pretty simple. Here, I don't think that we want anything. Um, actually, right now we are fine on everything, so we'll probably skip trading. Um, so far, what I, from my experience, what I know, at least from the test run, I only traded when I needed more food or, or when I needed more medicine. The rest. Uh, I always found enough, so I didn't need to trade for anything else. Let's skip this and say goodbye. So that's one. Here we have a well-dressed woman in her mid 40s stands between two stalls. A pair of young men are loading sacks and baskets from one of the stalls onto a cart. The traitor greets you with a polite smile. Stay tra step right up, my good man. If you are looking for food or medicine, you have come to the right place. Uh, where do you get your goods? My sons and I collect goods from several small villages to the south. The profits are shared among the farmers. Our herbal remedies are made by my aunt Gunlager. She is a wise old woman, well versed in every imaginable affliction. Okay, well, it's kind of a stupid question. Uh, she just told us she's selling food and medicine and we asked her what she's selling, but well, let's see if maybe there is something uh, she skipped. She sweeps her arms in white arc, uh, encompassing both stalls. Everything you see here is for sale. We are well stocked with fresh herbs and preserved food. Uh, we also sell fresh meats from the surrounding farms, and if you seek a remedy for illness or injury, we offer a modest selection of medicinal tinctures. Okay, so the same thing again. 
we may come back later and buy some food but for now I think we are fine how does it look like a very high supply but you can see that still even with a very high supply um, we have to pay 10 valuables for one food that is quite a lot I definitely don't want to pay with medicine and this also is not ideal so yeah uh, most of the time uh, trading is worth it only when you are really desperate that you are missing something uh, and as I said my experience just medicine and food from time to time but other than that I just don't think it's worth it so that's number two uh, this guy should be a bit more interesting portly man with uh, receding hair dressed in several layers of fine furs waves at you as you pass through the market honorable warrior a moment of your time please hell of sale I'm sorry to impose upon you like this, but I see you travel with a retinue that marks you as a man of high standing. My name is Yardelar Yarnskegason. I am a merchant trading in iron works from the east. I recently bought a house near the docks and moved here, hoping to establish trade routes to Frisia, perhaps even beyond. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. To my tremendous misfortune, misfortune, having already purchased the house before coming here, I have arrived to find it occupied by rats. Uh, they are a fierce bunch and I cannot take up residence in my house before they have been routed. I have had to pay dearly to lodge with a business acquaintance for the past two weeks while I have attempted to resolve the situation. I have been met with a dismaying lack of support from the Jarl's men. You would think the Jarl would be... Uh, interested to get rid of such vermin and restore order to her domain, but no. <laughs> Very well, I don't see why I shouldn't aid you. A few rodents won't pose a problem. Yarder's sigh of relief billows from his lips as a plume of steam in the frosty air. Thank you, thank you, uh, magnanimous warrior. I implore you to return here when my house is cleared of the rats and it's safe for me to move in. I'll be waiting with bath breath. So that's another quest. And there should be still more people we can talk to here. The man before you has the beard of warrior, though age and comforts seem to have softened his edges. His hair and beard are graying and the fine clothes he has squeezed into suit him poorly. Yes, you must be the son of Alvgar. It's the nose that gives it away. That's an amusing remark coming from you. The crowds around here should be grateful to your stir face for such a fine place to perish. For a moment, the man smiled and is rigid, but then he composes himself. His eyes never leave you. I will shake your hand before I know your name. Yeah, be nice if he could introduce himself. The man's next words are slow and deliberate. I see that you have inherited his pride as well. Uh, I am... whatever. I knew Alfgar, he was a fierce warrior, a friend, and he could hold his meat. I'm still here, but he fights and drinks with the Einhajar Ein now. Okay. A smile talks at his bearded face. Do me the honor of raising a horn of meat to his memory. My home is a sub-marketplace. Tonight we drink and feast as new friends, I insist. Okay, um, I know what's going to happen here, but well, I'm going to accept the invitation anyway. A friend of my father is a friend of mine. We'll gladly visit and drink to his memory. So that's another quest. I'd like to do uh, all the quests here, if possible, because, well, we'll be getting skill points for that. And speaking about skill points, maybe when we are done with these two conversations, we can check how many points we have now. 
and then we could try one fight in the harbor. Need that allowed. Uh, Ribus Town Cry is an energetic young woman with fairy red hair. Her sharp features are dotted with uh, freckles and her smile spells mischief. Her trained voice carries easily across the day of the market. Come on. And the scout looks at you uh, expectantly as you approach her. Garen Morgan, Honorable Tame. Mm -hmm. What news lately? She winks cheekily. Only what I've been shouting for hours. Frankish massacre in Saxony. Merchant looking to hire warriors. Scared and raided by a Nordman. Did I miss anything? Uh, okay, let's start from the top and work our way down. Tell me about that massacre. It's good news. The Christians appear dead, set on converting all pagans uh, to the worship of their own god and else, or else killing them. Thousands who resist the missionaries are dying on tips of Frankish spears. King Sigurd has sworn that he will stop the Christian expansion and has promised aid to all Saxon refugees. Rumors about that the king may assemble the Leidinger army and sail south to discourage any Frankish incursion into Jutland. So some religious wars, don't really care about it right now. Um, someone's looking to hire warriors? She gestures toward the opposite side of the market. I, again, I'm not reading these names, stands over there for the third day in a row, asking any and all armed passes, uh, passes by for their assistance. If you are open to such work, I'm sure he would love to tell you all about it. So that's number two, but you already talked to him. And he almost raided, you say? Uh, so say reports from travelers along the road north. Northmen struck at night, but they say the beacons weren't lit. The people of Skiern fought back, defeated the raiders, and captured their leader. The surviving Northmen escaped on their ship. Okay, well, let's say it's correct. Uh, I was there. Uh, what you have heard is accurate. Good thing you escaped your life then. If you are going back to skin, send my regards to the villagers. Um, okay, where might one find crew for a warship? She points off to the northwest towards harbor. Over yonder is a long house used by Jarl. Whatever, heard. Uh, Sell swords looking for hire of a train there with her warriors. And people are missing in the marsh. I don't think that we heard about this yet, so I don't know how we can ask about it, but well, okay. She claps her hand to her mouth, eyes wide. Oh yes, I'm glad you were listening. Travelers in the marsh have been disappearing. Rumors of giants and lantern men are beginning to spread. Jarl Ranghilder has offered the reward to anyone brave enough to investigate. Uh, just taking in the size. Uh, the skull spreads her arms and spins once around herself. Her cheer is almost too intense. Ripe is the beating heart of the West Coast. Remember to enjoy yourselves while you are here. So that's the news. And this should be a, another trader, I think. A strong young man stands at the front of a small group of trolls, scanning the market crowd for customers. His eyes settle on you and he smiles. Oh, hello, Excel, my good man. You have the bearing of highborn. Are you in need of trolls for your homestead? Very chance. So it's a slave trader. Mm, okay. You peddle thralls? As I said, are you looking to buy? Sure, I'll take a look. So how much do you want for thralls? Thousand pair, yeah, they're really really expensive. But one for ten hides. Um this is a high demand of hides. The problem is hides are quite hard to get. I'll think about this. Might be actually worth it if you can get more hides. Uh, thralls are probably the only thing that's harder to get than hides. But this might be worth it. But for now, I'll wait. And let's ask next thing. Uh, where do you get your goods? 
My current stock was captured after a battle between two mighty clans in Swelland, far to the north. Their clan was strong, but just not strong enough in the end. So it goes. I purchase only the strongest, healthiest trolls. If you buy from me, I guarantee you that your investment will pay off within a few years. Okay, it's, as I said, this might be interesting, but um, I think this is enough talking for one day. There's still a lot more that we have to do, but um, I'd like to fight at least once. And the closest fight is here, if I remember correctly. So let's quickly run there, and wait, before we run anywhere, let's actually check our skill points, almost forgot. Also, I found a few items, um, as I was looting all the barrels that are not just, uh, uh, not just, uh, what's the word, uh, crafting materials. I found the dagger, which I forgot to equip, 3 to 6. This one is 3 to 7. This is a little bit better. Let's give the dagger to uh, Rosqua. Willowbo is garbage. Tripwire, cold drops. We can maybe give this to someone. Oh, and where did we get the hide armor? This is definitely an improvement. Oh, this is no armor. No, it's just clothes. Okay, and clothes can't be removed. Okay, got it. So, uh, we didn't replace the clothes, we put the armor on top of it. Fine. Let's get rid of the... Well, maybe... I don't say let's get rid of the knife, but maybe we could even use it. We can get rid of the bow, though. Okay, and now to those points. Uh, where is it? Well, first... I definitely want to get uh, maximum bow skill. And I've been told that I should look at throwing skill. And where is throwing? Uh, by the way, stun. Someone asked about stun. Stun is here. It's a skill that uh, you can learn separately. So that's how we can get stun. And uh, I think I'll try to get it for everyone who has the strength for it. It's pretty useful. And throwing has uh, strength requirements as well. So, hmm, who can get it? With perception 1, we'll never hit anything, so this would be a waste of points. Anyone else? Can, we can't uh, give it to Rosqua, she's not strong enough. Nefia is not strong enough. Never mind, no one is strong enough. Here, maybe I just could have it, but again, it's probably better to first invest into her combat skills, so no throwing yet. Uh, Nefia, do you have... No, you don't have stun because you are not strong enough. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just focus on our combat skills. I think Gunnar needs stun. It is pretty expensive, but it's extremely effective. And on level 
three drill wielding, what do we get? Extra damage with offhand weapon. I want to boost the base damage, which means we'll just probably work on our X skills. No, I this. Same here, probably. Just want more damage. Uh, Rospo will get some extra skills with Sling, because um, these are actually useful. When you check the description, some nice utility attacks. Another level 5 bowman. Okay, the rest of the points I'll leave for now because we're gonna need some for the camping skills. Camping skills are significantly cheaper. So, they can. Um, what I wanted to say is that. Uh, come on. Um, you don't need that many points to get to, like, let's, let's say, rank 2 or 3. Uh, around 10 points should be enough so that we cover all the camping skill uh, for now. It won't be super high level, but it should be enough for now. And we still need to do something about us lifer, which is probably... Gonna be... Another sword rank. Okay. And let's finally get into the fight. It took a bit longer than I expected. There we go. Walking down the broad walk, you are stopped in your tracks by an apparition sitting quietly at the dock. The unmistakable contours of the ship that brought the rebels to Skjern. Nefia follows her gaze. Is that Ardos the big Yusunar who attacked our home? Uh, the gods have given us another chance to make those bastards pay. Without a moment's pause, Gnar overtakes you and walks directly up to the nearest rider, buried parted by a shit ear grin. Grimoire. What an unbelievable coincidence to run into you again here. All coral immediately drains from Grimoire's face. How the fuck? I th thought you were dead. It's more than that to kill an old Hadin old friend. He slaps Grimoire hard on the shoulder, nearly sending the man sideways into the train. You could have taken better care of the ship. She looks ready to sink. The other man appears to regain his wits. You asshole, you led us to our desk, Gunnar. We are all that's left. Everyone else is dead and you saunter up here like you're still in charge. Well, you can forget that. I am in charge now. We are patching up your ship and going home. Gunnar stares straight into Grimar's eyes for a long moment. Then, without any further warning, he sucks his old friend square on the jaw. Slap. So that's one gone. Now the rest. Problem here is they have uh, some bowmen in the back, and those guys are pretty dangerous. Can we flush them out somehow? This is what? Well, this is archer, and this is hunter. Cover for us. Well, 
One, two, three. No, it's not enough. if he could kill this guy. What's the chance? 95. Should be obstacles like everywhere. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, stun is actually not bad. Demoralize, okay, fine. As long as it's not damage, it's not the end of the world. This might hurt though. Yeah, it did hurt. Sixty percent. Hmm. What's the chance? Ninety. Ninety-five. So that's that's one right. Down. I see the fear in your eyes. On this one. Um, hmm. Gunnar. You'll try as well. Oh, come on! This is going down, and I can't do anything about it. Actually, I might be able to do something about it. How many hit points does Gunnar have? I can't move away. Actually, wait, I can. Um, tactical move. This might work. Again, I really need that stun because I need to get someone to the archer. There we go. Let's 
it's too far. Let's heal up before we go anywhere in case he can uh, uh, do some damage in melee. The nerve was quite low. So that should be the problem with the arch solved. Hit him while he's standing in that cloud. Never mind, let's uh, try to take out this guy then. I bet I didn't even have to run to him. 50. It's still worth a try. Oh, good. Try to get to the healer. I want to lock him in place, make sure that he can't go anywhere. I just hope that uh, Rosqua with 96 hit points can survive a hit from a healer. And she should. Healer shouldn't be that strong, especially uh, because it seems that he only wants to spam the moralize. Do this without losses. Or losses, well, I should say injuries. Mm, do we have any new faction? Nordic Man. Uh, I, they probably don't like us too much after uh, we killed pretty much all the Northmen that we met so far. Get us to raise the carnage. What uh, did make me. That did make. Did, oh, excuse me, I can't talk anymore. That did make me feel better, and now we have a ship. That better old thing isn't going to take us across the sea. Besides, we couldn't ever muster a crew for a ship that large. Well, we could use some more wood. I think I'll try this option. We can at least chop it up for the wood. Perhaps one of the traders in the market will be able to handle it for us. So, that's something we'll have to find out next time. Let's quickly check the loot. These are just the crates, but I'll get to the corpses in a moment. Nothing here. Find shield, but I think it was heavily damaged. Still nothing. Yeah, this is what I've been doing like 30 minutes, just clicking on barrels and getting items like this. Valuables and nothing else. That's quite disappointing. I was hoping that we get at least like one weapon upgrade or something. Okay. Now this will be all for today. This pipe is a bit longer than I wanted it to be, but right there is like this. It just everything takes too long, a lot of talking, and we still have quite a few quests that uh, we have to accept. But once we are done with the quest and start actually working on them, uh, I'll leave right bed and uh, everything should be a bit faster again. Though I still hope that you like this part. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.